Hi developers, if you ever had to deal with file uploads, you know how messy it can get with UI, validations, error handling, edge cases. It's one of those things that sounds simple until it's not. But what if I told you there's a plug and play solution that makes all of this simple? And that's Uppy, a lightweight modular file uploader that works beautifully with React. It gives you a sleek, customizable interface and handles all the annoying parts for you. And yeah, these days you could just ask an AI to drop a photo uploader into your app. But in this video, I want to show you the actual tools the Uppy library provides so you can gain a deeper understanding of how it works under the hood and how to use it confidently in your own code base. So when something breaks, you know where it broke, and then you can go back to AI and ask it how to fix it. Uppy is an open source file uploader that supports local files, cloud storage, webcam capture, and more, all through a modular plugin system. You get built-in progress tracking, resumable uploads, error handling, and it works great with React, thanks to the React Uppy package. These are the Uppy packages we'll need in order to develop our file uploader application. I know it seems like a lot of packages, so I'll go over a few of them and explain what they are. First, we have Uppy Core. This is the heart of Uppy. It works as a state manager and event emitter and handles restrictions like file size, type, and number of files. It doesn't do any of the UI or uploading itself. It just coordinates everything. Then we have the Uppy dashboard. The dashboard is your all-in-one UI. It gives you a drag and drop interface, file previews, progress indicators, and seamlessly integrates with all the plugins. Just drop it into your app and you're good to go. Then we have the Uppy image editor package. If you wanna let users crop, rotate, or flip images before uploading, you can use this package. The image editor plugin adds an inline editing experience that plugs right into the dashboard. So users can fine tune their images without needing a third party tool to do so. And of course, we need to actually send files somewhere. Uppy doesn't upload by default. You choose how and where it goes. So the simplest option is XHR upload package, which sends files directly to a backend using a standard post request. Just set your endpoint, the field name, and you're ready to start handling uploads on the server side. Once everything is installed, we can start importing Uppy and plug in the dashboard component to create a clean, modern file upload experience. Let's get started. All right, I've broken down adding a file uploader to our app into four different steps. The first step would be to import Uppy, dashboard, and different plugins. In our case, we'll be adding the image editor plugin and the XHR upload plugin. Second step would be to initialize an Uppy instance with the image editor and the XHR side upload plugins attached to that instance. Third would be adding event handlers. These are event handlers that will allow us to take actions whenever we upload a new file, whenever there is an upload error, or if the upload is complete. And then finally, we'll be adding our dashboard component to our app. And the entire code for this application can be found in the GitHub repo link attached to this video. So let's start with step one, importing Uppy dashboard and its plugins. So we start with importing Uppy from the Uppy core package. Then we'll also be importing the dashboard component from the Uppy React library. We'll also be importing the two plugins, Image Editor and XHR plugin. The Image Editor allows the user to edit their image before uploading them, and they can edit right into the editor without any other third-party tool. Then we'll be adding or importing XHR upload so we can actually send those files to the server side to be uploaded. And something important to remember here is adding the styling like so, so we can actually see the styling coming from the Uppy library being applied to the dashboard component. Now let's get to step two, which will be initializing our Uppy instance and attaching the plugins, which are the image editor and the XHR upload plugins. 
So this second step will be broken down into, into three steps pretty much. On the first one will be initializing the API instance. Then we'll be configuring that API instance and attaching the plugins into that API instance. And third will be returning the API instance, which will be stored in a state using the use state hook. All right, so I already have an API instance variable here that I'm initializing with new API. And to that initialization, I'll be passing an object with the values I want to configure my API instance with. In this case, I'm passing an ID for my file uploader. And then I'm adding the restrictions I want my API instance to include, which are for now a maximum file number of five. And then I'm adding the types I want to allow the user to upload files in. And then I'm adding the auto proceed property here. You'll see how this makes sense later. When the user uploads a file, it doesn't auto proceeds and uploads it automatically. With the auto proceed set to false, it lets the user upload their image or their file and then click a button to actually send the upload request to the backend. All right, and now that we have that API instance, what we want to do is attach or use the plugins for that instance or within that instance. And what we do for that case is we define or we invoke the API instance dot use. And with this function, we pass to parameters, we pass the plugin that we want to be using in this case would be image editor. And the second would be an object with the properties we want our image editor to include. So in this case, we just added the image editor plugin and we added the properties we want for our image editor. The second plugin we'll be adding the same way would be the XHR upload. And that would be adding an ability for users to send their image somewhere. And we'll do it the same way or a similar way in which we call or invoke the API instance use. We pass two properties to it or two parameters to it. The first one would be the X, XHR upload plugin. And then we'll be passing an object with the properties we want our plugin to use. And in our case would be the endpoint in which we want to upload our files or images to and a field name in this case, we're just going to call it files. With those two properties, we should be good to go for file uploading. And then finally, we will be returning that API instance, which we'll be storing as API in our state. Now let's get to step three, where we define our handlers and then attach those handlers to specific events. And in our case, we'll be adding uh, handlers for the upload success, an upload error, or an upload complete specifically. So first, what we need to do is define those handlers. Here we have a success, an error, and a complete handler. And then what we'll do is invoke upi.on, and then we'll be passing two parameters into that on function. The first one would be the event that we want to target. In our case, we'll target upload success and we'll be passing our success handler to it. Second, we'll be doing the same thing, but in this case, we'll be passing the upload error event and also we'll be passing the upload error handler or in this case, error handler. And finally, we'll be invoking that same on function but in this case, we'll be invoking it for the complete event. And we'll be adding or invoking the complete handler. That's it for adding the handlers to our events. And we'll be adding a return here for a cleanup on our handlers. And that should be all good for step three. And finally, for step four, we'll be adding our dashboard component. We'll be passing some props. Of course, one of the props I will be passing would be that API instance we just defined at the top with our plugins added. We'll also be adding the height to it. We got the show progress details, which we'll see in action once we render the component in our application. 
Uh, we get a little note that shows at the bottom of the uploader and then other props um, that you can tweak here and there depending on what your use case would be. Now we'll free save what we have so far and go to our app.jsx file and uncomment our file uploader component. Save that and render on screen. You'll see how we render our uploader with the styling that we imported at the beginning. No other styling was added to the uploader specifically, just uh, to the component around it. And if I grab some of the photos I have here, and drop them into the photo uploader. You'll see how I'm able to see a preview thumbnail of my image. I'm also able to edit the image before uploading it by cropping it or resizing it, zooming in or out. These are coming from the different properties that we added to the plugin when we were defining our Uppy instance. Then I can save and click upload three files. This is what I was talking about with the auto proceed uh, property here. Since this is set to false, I'm able to see a preview of my images and then see the upload three files button here. So when I click it, I'm able to see the upload happening and a status indicator for each one of the images. Uh, as you can see, I can add more and go browse my files or drag and drop more files so I can keep adding to my photos that have been uploaded. When I click the done button, that's it for the photo uploader. We can also keep extending with other plugins. For example, I can install Uppy webcam package. So if I do an NPM install and install that Uppy webcam to my project, I'll be able to go back to my Uppy instance and just uh, as I added image editor and XHR upload, I can go to my Uppy instance and define this new webcam plugin by doing Uppy instance dot webcam. Of course, I'll have to import it at the top like so, and then I'll take this one here and add it over here as a plugin. And as you can see now with that webcam plugin, you have my device folder that will take you to your computer's device or your device's files. And you also have a camera plugin here to allow the users to upload photos directly from their device. In this case, it could be a laptop, or a mobile device. So there you have it, a complete customizable file uploader with just a few lines of code. I hope you now have a solid understanding of how Uppy and its components work together to help you deliver a smooth, polished upload experience for your users. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see an Uppy plus Firebase or AWS integration next. And if this helped you, give it a like, Hit subscribe for more dev tutorials like this and I'll see you in the next one.